Hello everyone, welcome to the Parasoft webinar. Myself Raghavendra, I am a design and application engineer in Trident Infosol. Today I will be discussing with the topic called Comprehensive Testing Practices for Desired Safety Critical Software. With the help of this webinar, you will be able to accelerate your testing capabilities with the unified testing solutions. Let's quickly get into the agenda plan for today's session. We will be discussing the industry challenges for static analysis, what are the coding standards we support for automotive, aerospace, defense, railways, medical process industries and what is bug detective feature for dynamic analysis, we will be discussing unit integration system level testing along with the regression testing. In the coverage analysis, what are the type of code coverages we do support in the coverage analysis and then runtime error detection and embedded testing support followed by question and answer at the end of the session. Is your software the cause of problems? Yes, of course. If the developed application or software is not come across verification and validation process, the product may fail you during the real-time working, the result in the loss of product life or it could cause significant property damage and, uh, and damage to the environment and also if the product is not following any coding security coding standards definitely it becomes very easy to hack to avoid all such issues we should make sure that our product should comply with the particular security standards or safety standards and along with the product should a bug free product. What are the industry challenges the tester will face during the software testing? Day by day, the complexity of C C software is getting increased to meet the stakeholder requirement to showcase complex features in the software within the specified deadline. And also, achieving the code compliance for safety critical application is a critical job. And again, if the application is connected to Internet of Things devices, then how are you going to make sure the security of your application? And also achieving the quality of your uh, software is also matters for the stakeholders. I mean, uh, uh, delivering a right product in a right time. So then what is the solution for achieving these industry challenges? Definitely there will be a solution that is why the automation is comes into picture. The software testing developer will adopt a methodology called automated defect prevention. The methodology will do a different task in the analysis that is uh, detect an error. It will isolate the cause of the error. It will locate that error you know, in the source code it will implement the practices to prevent the error from reoccurring and also monitor for improvement in the testing practices. Parasol provides automated direct prevention products. Let's quickly look into the Parasol products. Virtualize for uh, service virtualization. So what test load test is for web application functionality and performance testing. Development testing platform DTP uh, will give you the enhanced report for management level. For C, Java, .NET, .NET languages, we have a product C, C++ test, Java test, JTest, .test. And Insure++ is for runtime memory analysis. Today, we'll be focusing on C, C++ test tool features. The key features of C, C++ test is uh, automated code analysis, code review, identify runtime errors, runtime memory errors, unit and integration test, automated regression testing, and the test on the host simulator and as well as in the target. Let's see what is static analysis, what you can do with static analysis for your application testing and what are the approaches comes under static analysis from the Parasol CC flippers test to me. So static analysis is nothing but you are going to check your application according to a particular coding standards. 
it could be safety and security uh, some different industry standards like misra iso 26262 so uh, here you're going to enforce a particular coding standards your application to make sure that your code is following a particular coding standards and you can find out the you know uh, potential bugs in the static analysis and you can fix the uh, potential bugs with the help of Parasoft rules documentation and we have a different uh, static analysis approach uh, for your applications pattern based analysis bug detective or data flow based analysis metric based analysis let's see what is pattern based analysis pattern based analysis nothing but you are going to enforce uh, different coding standards your to your application to check the application is follows uh, the particular coding standards or not the tool supports group project division as well as corporate co coding standards and you can enforce dip different code compliance with uh, specific code analysis rules to your applications and we do support a safety critical coding standards example MISRA, JSF, ISO 26262 we have a certifications for avionics DO 178B part C and EN501 to 8, IEC 61508 and SEAL and we do support medical coding industries standards ANC ANSI AMI IEC 62304 quality life cycle support for IEC 61508 high integrity C++ IPA SEC so we support all coding standards across different industries in static analysis these are the list of the coding standards we support across different industries like avionics automotive railways medical and other process industries the rules are the coding standards are search c coding standard c rules cwe elemental effective stl effective c plus plus misra c joint strike fighter iso 26262 source code metrics flow analysis flow analysis rules metrics ospa summit security rules the power of 10 Apart from this, Parasif will also recommend some coding standards for uh, medical and uh, medical uh, domain. And all the rules are, are categorized by topic as well as ranked by severity rules. And we have a 2264 rules and all the rules are categorized into different coding standards with respect to different domains. We have additional feature called rule wizard in the static analysis. Uh, with the help of rule wizard, you can customize the existing rules as well as you can create your own rules and make the rules with your own industry standards. For rule wizard, you don't require prior knowledge of coding or parser to create your own rules. This is how the example configuration of MISRA C 2012 in static analysis. So we have a 2264 rules and you can combine different coding standards in one analysis and you can also enable or disable the, whichever the rules you want and you, you can also uh, review the rule document for any of the rules. This is how the static analysis results will look when performing the code, you know, static analysis for particular projects or source code. The result will show the number of files checked, how many number of source lines in the source code and what are the bugs it has caught and number of rules violated. So all these things you can be viewed in the static analysis. The another approach of static analysis is data flow or bug detective or flow based analysis. It's a new type of static analysis where you can get possible runtime errors without executing the code. So without executing the code, you will be getting the possible runtime errors. So example runtime, possible runtime errors like uninitialized memory, null pointer data referencing, division by zero, memory leaks. So 
So it focuses on possible runtime errors only, not actual runtime errors. The another approach, another approach of static analysis is metric analysis or metric calculations. So with the help of metric analysis, you can find out the complexity of your, of your application in terms of uh, lack of cohesion, uh, cyclometric complexities, number of methods or functions, uh, nested blocks. So, so all these metrics calculations you can collect from the metric analysis. A small demonstration for coding standards and its features across all industries from Parasol CC++ test. for your software testing. In dynamic analysis, we will be, we'll be doing a different level of testing like unit, integration, system level testing. In unit level testing, the tool will help you to generate the test cases in automatically and you can see the coverage metrics for your applications or the test cases in the form of source code. It could be C, C++. The test cases contains post conditions, preconditions, and the function call. And you can also generate the 
stubs for your dependency functions and you can also execute the uh, unit test cases in the command line mode and for all the unit test cases you can generate the report this is how the unit testing flow will look in the parasol cc++ test we imported the project into the parasol we need to generate the test harnesses or nothing but test cases and we need, with the help of uh, test configurations available in the parasol we need to execute the test cases after execution of test cases the result will be captured and the result can be recorded in the reports the parasol supports different uh, different kind of reports like html pdf xml so uh, the result can be generated in different report formats so this is how the example test case generation configuration in parasol cc++ test you can generate any number of test cases you want for each uh, functions of your applications by default the system will help you to generate the 10 number of test cases for each functions you can generate the test cases automatically so result will be in terms of pass or fail and also you can generate the test cases manually so based on your requirement you can generate the test cases automatically as well as in the manually the tool will also support stubbing framework so you can generate the stubbing for your dependency function whenever it is required so sub here the stubbing means you are going to generate alternative implementation for your dependency functions and also the tool will support regression testing uh, regression testing is nothing but it's a repetitive testing with the help of uh, regression testing you are going to make sure that the functionality of your uh, application or software should not change when the code is modified for uh, any feature updations so that's how the regression testing will help for your application to make sure the functionality of your product or software should not change whenever the code is getting changed this is how the dynamic analysis results will look like in parasol cc++ test you will be getting the coverage for your complete source code as i said you can get the coverage analysis for your complete application Parasol supports different type of code coverages like line coverage, statement coverage, block coverage, path coverage, decision coverage, function coverage, MCDC coverage, call coverage. So these are the examples code for line coverage, statement coverage, block coverage, decision coverage. You will be knowing that uh, how many number of blocks are covered or not covered, how many number of decisions are got covered or not covered. You can see in the result of coverage in coverage tab and path coverage, function coverage, how many number of functions got exercised, how many are not exercised and also you can see the call coverage, MCTC coverage for boolean functions. So this is how the coverage report will looks in the report. You can differentiate the covered part and which is not covered in the source code with the help of color coding. So all the green stubs are is covered part in your application and the pink color is not covered. So whenever the code is exercised, so the green colors will come and if it is going to skip that particular function or statement, it will be a, in a pink color. So you can get a different type of code coverage in the report also. Application monitoring is another feature of CC++ test tool. So it is nothing but system level testing. So the tool will help you to do a complete application testing. The instrumentation used for application testing is very lightweight. I mean, you can enable whichever the you know instrumentation code you want to see the result, like a memory monitoring, code coverage. So all these uh, instrumentation you can enable in the instrumentation code. So once we perform application monitoring, you can see the coverage analysis as well as the runtime error detections. So like example runtime error detections, like memory leaks, memory corruptions, and other memory access errors. So this is how the application monitoring will let you to exercise your application completely. 
coming to runtime error detection so this feature is integrated to static analysis and as well as unit testing and code review and the instrumentation is used for uh, detecting runtime errors and the parasol is lightweight and it will capture actual runtime errors what we have seen in the bug detective is like getting a possible runtime errors in the static analysis but in runtime error de detection we are going to do actual execution of our application so that it will focus only on real bugs real runtime errors so example runtime errors are like memory leaks null pointer dereferencing uninitialized memory buffer overflow for detailed runtime memory analysis we have a tool called insho++ insho++ is used for runtime application testing so that will detect the runtime memory and errors which is not possible in the normal testing so the tool will capture compile time errors runtime memory errors so examples are null pointer dereferencing unrealized pointers dangling pointers array out of bound memory leaks corrupted heap and stack memories so all these memory errors can be captured with the help of insho++ the tool is having a rich set of uh, graphical windows so they by with the help of windows you can see how much of memory used for your application how much is wasted mean leaked so all these can be uh, seen in insho++ and this tool is uh, used for in the host environment not in the embedded environment these are the windows you can see in the paras out uh, insho++ tool uh, memory bloat memory okay memory overuse monitor fragmented memory checking the timing of leak and you can also analyze the memory usage for your application the supported platform for insho++ is you can use it in windows linux as well as in the solaris in windows uh, we have a direct plugin in the visual studio with the help of visual studio you can use insho++ for your runtime memory analysis for your application a small demonstration for uh, insho++ Unius feature provides you a live graphical representation of the memory in use from your application this can actually show you the impact of a memory leak occurring in your application. It can show you on the graph how big this leak can affect your machine, and you can also see just how fast it can rapidly go out of control. So we can see here in my solution, I just have one source file, and this source file will demonstrate a slow increasing memory leak. So in order to use in use, we must go to the Insure++ control panel and make sure that this in use checkbox is enabled. Once this has been enabled, we can simply just click OK, and then normally instrument our solution file. We can see here that I've already instrumented it, it is up to date. Now that we've instrumented our uh, file and in use has been enabled, we just need to execute the instrumented executable. So after hitting the execute, we can see here that the in use window actually appeared and that it found the process ID for it. Insta is also here to, tell, to show us that we have detected a memory leak in there. So now that the memory leak is detected, we can click on each of these buttons over here to see the live graphical representation of our memory. So we'll go ahead and click on the history, and here we can see the leak actually increasing more and more as time goes by. So that's not really good. <laughs> we probably definitely need to fix this memory leak. We can also click on the frequency here, and this will show us just how frequent this memory is occurring. The layout will also show us uh, the heap layout to show uh, like how much heap is being used and how much of it was a memory leak. This one's really going out of control. And here we can see the time of how long this memory leak's been going on. So as we can see here, in use can show you just how impactful this memory leak is on your running application. Total coverage analysis feature from Insure++ will show you what lines of code were covered during the instrumented application's runtime. This allows you to see what blocks of code were tested and what was not tested, and allows you to give you more insight about your application. You can also use this information to compare the violation reported in Insura and look in the total coverage analysis results to see how many times this block was executed to understand the severity of the leak. To see the total coverage analysis, we would need to go to Insure++ toolbar at the top and go to TCA right here, and this will open up our TCA view. We then need to load uh, the file 
and this will be located usually either in your release or debug folder of where your instrumented application is. And once we selected the TCA file, we'll go ahead and open it. Now after opening it, we can see that we actually have some results in here, the top three being Microsoft libraries and the bottom being our actual instrumented application. This is what we're very interested in. Double clicking it allows us to drill down and we can see now each of the instrumented files and we can see what lines were covered. We can also see down here exactly what blocks were tested and how many were untested as well as the percentage of that coverage. So drilling down further, it actually tells us now at a function level of what, was what blocks were covered. And browsing it further, it'll actually bring up the source code and show us in a nice block of what blocks were covered. The one in the, or the hits over here determine if this was covered, and the zero determines, as it also shown in red, that this was not covered. So using this information, you can actually compare it with the INSERA violation report, so that way you can determine how severe this memory leak is in your run, running application. The tool will also support peer code review. It's nothing but a reviewing a developer or tester codes from the management level. I mean, normally, the, re yeah, the reviewers are like not managers so once a developer or tester completes their developing and testing so they uh, they'll submit that code into the code repository i mean they'll commit the code into the repository so after that the reviewer will access the code repository with the help of server and they're going to review the developer or tester codes and they'll comment if anything any changes required so this is how the setup will looks like and uh, this feature is available with uh, another tool called DTP from Parasoft. This is how the example configurations for application monitoring and as well as code review. CC++ test will also support testing your software in embedded environment. This is how the complete setup will looks for embedded system testing in Parasoft. The flow is uh, we have to import the project. The project could be from different IDEs like IAR, GHS, Wind River, Core Composer Studio. So once we imported the project into the Parasoft, we need to generate the test cases for the imported project. Then with the help of cross compilers, the IDE compilers, the tool will generate the test executable. The same test executable is we need to download under the target and we need to execute the test executable in the target. And the result will be in terms of a test case pass or fail. And you can also see the code coverage results. I mean, uh, you can see the different type of code coverages in the result. This is how the exact setup will looks for embedded software testing in Parasoft CC++ test. Hardware is interfaced with the deep and as well as the uh, you host know, PC. In the host PC contains development ID and Parasol CC++ test. This is what the example configuration of embedded testing for IA, Green Hills ID. So I'll be showing a small video clip for embedded testing in Parasol CC++ test. CC++ test enables users to easily create and manage unit tests, both within an IDE-based graphical editor for UI-driven test creation and directly in source code for full flexibility and expanding beyond unit tests into integration tests. With integrated support for code isolation via stubs, assertions, and reporting of code coverage, CC++ test provides everything a developer needs to build a comprehensive and maintainable test suite. For safety-critical industries, CC++ test provides the most comprehensive set of coverage metrics with both interactive and offline reporting. Coverage can be captured from both manual testing efforts and automated test suites, including open-source testing frameworks such as Google Test and merged in Parasoft DTP for centralized traceability and compliance reporting. CC++ test supports on-target testing for a broad set of compilers and targets, such as ARM, IAR, Green Hills, and Wind River. Source-based test suites are well-suited for safety-critical applications, and customizable runtime libraries enable you to modify the test framework specifically for your system to capture coverage for both on- and off-target. After testing your software or application, I mean performing static and dynamic analysis, you can record or capture your test results 
in different re report formats like HTML, PDF, XML and other formats which supported by Parasoft. The report contains what are the coding standards you have enforced for your application and how many number of files checked and how many number of test cases got generated for your application what are the violations captured during the static analysis and dynamic analysis and the report will also present code coverage summary for your application and you can also send uh, a report automatically to your emails let's look into the supported platform for cc++ desktop the tool will support in windows platform windows 90 2000 2003 server edition xp 7 8 10 and also in the linux kernel 2.4 2.6 higher versions in the both windows and linux it will support 32 bit and as well as in the 64 bit os and you can use the tool in the Solaris 7, 8, 9, 10 versions and Ultra Spark processor. We have a plugin with the following IDs Eclipse ID, Visual Studio, Horn, DSY, Wind River Workbench, Horn Workbench, QNX, uh, Code Composer Studio, Renesis. And we have a different compiler integration in CC++ test tool. It will support different target task compilers, ARM, DSY, LTM tasking, Greenhills compilers, IR compilers, Keel, ARM compilers, Renesis compilers, Wind River GCC, Wind River Diab, and TI compilers. We have a direct project import option for ARM ADS, Greenhills Multi, IR Embedded Workbench, Keel, Microsoft Visual Studio, Texas Instruments, Code Composer Studio, Wind River, Tornado, Renesis. We do support different OS compilers in Windows, Linux, Solaris, such as GNU, GCC, Greenhills Multi for Windows, and Sun One Studio in Solaris. We do support different build management like GNU Make, Sun Make, Microsoft and Make. We have a source code integration with our tool CC++ test tool such as Git, CVS, Borland Star Team, IBM Rational Claycase, Serena Subversion, Performs SCM. We have got some customer testimonials for CC++ test and as well as Ensure++ products. A few of them are listed here, Samsung, Scriptlet Technologies, HP. Samsung, they've been using our CC++ test tool to test their software applications in static analysis and they are able to decrease the amount of coding violations in their application by 80%. So they are getting a significant improvement in their software testing process. From Skepta Technologies, they also been using our tool for their safety related application testing and they are getting efficient result in their software testing process. For Insure Plus Plus, HP, uh, they are using Insure Plus Plus for testing their applications, especially to find uh, memory leaks and, uh, and analyzing memory issues. And they are able to find and fix memory related issues within a few hours. So that's how our tools will help you to test their, your applications in an efficient manner. Let's see a quick tool demonstration of C++ test. This is how the GUI looks in the Parasoft C++ test. This one is based on Eclipse IDE. So it has got different tabs like quality task, coverage, suppressions. In the quality task, you can see the number of violations captured during the static analysis. In the coverage, you can see the number, what are the types of coverage of your application mean the coverage analysis for your application in the suppressions if any number of any violations is suppressed those violations will come and sit in suppression tab the tool will support different id project import option i mean uh, you can import the project from different ids like code composer green hills iar key microvision Micro, uh, microsoft visual studio 
Wind River. So all these projects can be directly imported into the Parasoft and perform different analyses for your application. Now we have imported a project called Sensor. It's a C project. It has got one source file. So for this project, we are going to perform a static analysis. So we have to first we have to select the project, or else you can select the source file and select Parasoft test using built-in static analysis. So these are the list of coding standards we do support across different industries. Examples are search C coding standards, Lisa's stick coading standard, CW SANS, Joint Strike Fighter, ISO 26262. For bug detective analysis, these are the coding standards we do support for bug detective analysis. You can also find unused code in your application or duplicated code in your application. And we do support MISRA C2004-2012 for C and for C++, MISRA C++ 2008. You can, you can collect the metric, metrics from your applications. You can also check security rules for your applications. So now uh, we will select MISRA C2012. In the console tab, you can see the detailed flow of the particular static analysis. And it will also list out the violations captured during the analysis. So it has reported 108 task. So one source file is checked. In the scope, you can see how many number of files checked, how many number of uh, source lines in that particular source file. In the static tab, you can see the number of violations found and how many number of rules violated. In the quality task, you can list out number of violations captured during the analysis. Do not use resource that have been freed and function type shall be in a prototype form. And the standard library input output functions should not be used. So these are the violations captured in that particular project. You can navigate that particular uh, violations in the source file so here the function initialize is not in prototype form you can see that here the function is defined and called but the prototype for this function is not declared so that's why the violation is captured so this is according to the misra c 2012 standard you can fix this violation violation with the help of view rule documentation So in the rule documentation, we'll give you the detailed description of the particular violation and we'll also give you the example of the particular kind of violation and for the same uh, example violation, it will give you the solution, how to resolve that particular violation, how to fix that particular violation in your application. So that's how rule, docu rule documentation will help helps you to fix your violations in the application so all these violations can be recorded in the report the report can be uh, customized like in pdf html xml so whichever format is convenient for your uh, understanding you can select and for the same thing you need to go in you can generate application or report So, to quickly generate the report in HTML format. In the report, you can see what uh, coding standard we have enforced for our application and how many number of files checked and this uh, number of source lines checked. You can list out the uh, violations in the report and who is the tester. You can also get the uh, violations in the severity level. So, each rules having its own severity level so that highest priority um, in severity violations will be listed in the top. So this is how the static analysis reports looks in the Parasoft CC++ test.
Now for another project we are performing another static analysis approach called quantitative analysis. Let's select the project Microsoft test using built-in static analysis. So uh, for BD analysis we have a three coding standards flow analysis aggressive fast flow analysis standards. You can select any of these standards for performing bugatative analysis. Let's select flow analysis aggressive. So here you can capture the possible runtime errors without executing the actual application in the static analysis. So it has captured some errors like nine violations captured so these are the possible runtime errors. You can see it in quality task. So uh, the tool captured possible uh, bugs. Always, always check the return value of non-void function. Avoid accessing array out of bounds. Division by zero. Avoid overflow when writing to a buffer. So avoid unused values. So these are the possible runtime bugs. So without executing the actual application, the tool will be able to capture these errors in the static analysis itself. So that's how the tool uh, strength looks in the static analysis. So let's backtrace the error. You can also uh, locate that particular error and you can also find out because of what line, I mean what uh, code we are getting that actual and possible runtime error. See here in the division by zero because of, because of this line. So hint num is equal to zero. This num variable is zero. That's why we are getting violation and bugs in this particular line. So that's how you can backtrace that act, that uh, violation in Parasoft C++ test. So this is what the bugatative analysis looks in Parasoft C++ test. Without executing your actual application, we are able to get possible random errors. We have seen the static analysis demonstration for its different approaches like pattern based analysis, bugatative analysis. In, uh, till now we have uh, executed, I um, mean we have not executed actual application. In the dynamic analysis we are going to execute our ac actual application. So let's see how the tool will generate the test cases and how we can execute the test cases with the help of Parasoft uh, configuration. Let's see uh, the test configurations available in the Parasoft. We do support in embedded platform, we do support different ID projects on RTM, Green Hills, IR, Keel, Renesis, Wind River, Texas, uh, Code Composer Studio. By default, the tool will generate 10 test cases for each function. You can edit, I mean, you can decrease or increase the number of test cases you want per function. In the execution, so what are the test configurations we support? for different IDs in the simulator as well as in the target. So TI code composer, uh, HEW simulator, Renesis, we do support Tartos, VXWorks, Integrity. We can uh, execute the GHS projects in the target as well as the host environment. We do support Keel Microvision projects. So, and uh, you can see the instrumentations available for your application in Paris or CC++ test. These are the instrumentation code will get added for your uh, test code. Code coverages, function stub, memory monitoring, whichever you want, you can enable or disable. Let's quickly generate the test cases for this Hydraulics application. Parasoft test using generate unit test. As I said, by default, the number of test cases are 10 per function. So we have only three functions 
in the code. So it has got 30 test cases. You can see all the test cases in uh, test case explorer. So these are the statistics view. Let's execute the same uh, test cases. Test using user define unit testing run run unit unit test. <clears throat> In the result, you can see the coverage. I mean, which are which part of the code is covered, which is not covered. And if any runtime errors, you can also see in the result analysis. So all the test cases are executed. Now you can see uh, test cases are executed, which is shown in uh, green mark in the test case explorer. If it is uh, not executed, means if the test cases is failed, it will show with re red mark. So in the console window, you can see the status of test cases is okay. I mean, it is executed successfully. In the source code, you can see the in a color code format. I mean, it will represent this part of the code is covered. This line is not covered. If you want to cover all these uh, lines, means you can add additional number of test cases so that whole part of your application get covered. You will get 100% coverage. In the coverage tab, you can see the different type of code coverages result with respect to your application. You can see different coverages like line statement, line statement block coverage, function coverages. MCDC call coverages. In the result tab, you can see the percentage percentage of uh, code coverages for each type of coverages. Line coverage 87 percent in this particular code, I mean in this particular application. MCDC 17 percentage. So it will show the number of test cases passed or failed. How many number of test cases skipped in case if any test cases skipped. If any uh, runtime errors in execution problems, it will list out. And for the same thing, you can generate the report in different formats you want. How we have gener how we have seen the report generation in uh, static analysis. You can see the detailed report for developers, uh, test case details, and detailed uh, report for line coverages. By default, I'm going to generate the unit testing report in HTML C++ test unit testing details. See, this is how the report in Parasort C++ test for unit testing. It will list out the uh, test case passed or failed, I mean, how many number of uh, files checked. And you can see the coverage summary for uh, for your application. I mean, what are the type of coverages? How many percentage of coverage for each coverage type? And who is the tester? You can see the detail of uh, test cases. And at the end of the report, you can see the number of test case passed or failed in the color form, color coding. Here, the green color will represents all the test cases are passed with respect to each test cases. So this is how the report looks in the Parasort CC++ test. Let's quickly summarize the benefits of CC++ test and Ensure++. The tool will support different domain coding standards in static analysis. It will also help you to reduce the cost by finding and fixing bugs early in the life cycle. You can test your application or software in host level as well as in the target environment. It also supports open testing frameworks such as Google Test, CPPU Test, CPP Test. Along with that, it has its own CC++ testing framework. You can generate the test cases manually and also automatically. The tool will generate the reports which can be understandable by auditors, managers, developers and testers. The tool will give you the advanced code coverage report and it supports different type of code coverages such as statement block, path decision, MCTC call, function, line coverages. With the help of Insure++, 
the user can pinpoint the real memory issues within your applications. For more information, you can uh, log into our website, Tyrant InfoSol, and for CC++ tests and Insure++, you can check in Parasol website. For technical queries, please reach us on following email IDs essg.fae at tridentinfosol.com info at tridentinfosol.com Thanks for joining the webinar. Have a great day.